What's up, Hustlers? It's your boy, JT Hustles. If you ever wondered what branch of service you should join, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned. What's up hustlers? It's your boy JT. As you can see, I had to change real quick. Um, so I get a lot of people talking to me, asking me about joining the military. So I decided to make a quick video a little bit different from the other ones that I typically upload. But my channel is all about just my journey as an entrepreneur, starting multiple businesses, and hopefully teaching you guys things I learned along the way that could possibly help you make just a little bit more money as well. So that being said, as you could tell from the intro, I was an active duty Marine um, and I was stationed overseas. So for anybody interested in joining the military, I know that going to the actual recruiting station is sometimes intimidating. So I decided to make a quick video for you guys and compile all the information. So without further ado, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get into it. Now what I'm about to flash on the screen right now are the Army requirements as far as ASVAB score goals, height and weight requirements, and the physical fitness test that you'll have to pass. Um, also, you'll do a medical screening where you'll go to MEPS and pretty much get a top to bottom uh, physical examination to make sure that you're in good health to join the military. And then if you need to stop the video at any point in time, take screenshots, whatever it is you got to do, but, um, you know, I'm just trying to give you this information as efficiently as possible. So, moving on. Next is the Marine Corps. I'm going to flash up their PT test requirements, height and weight requirements, and ASVAB scores as well, again, for you to take a look at. Uh, one thing I want you to note from looking at these ASVAB scores is you can join with the GED. It is a lot harder, though. I'm going to just be honest with you. It's harder to join with a GED. But it's not impossible as of the date of this video. So just check that out. So as you can see that the Marines going to do the most running. So if you don't like to run, then that's something to consider when you're looking in to joining the Marine Corps. Because they do do the three-mile run for, and then pull-ups or flex arm hang, depending on if you're a male or female. Then the crunches, the time crunches for two minutes. So there it is. Next, I'm going to put up the Navy for you. Now check out these requirements do a little less running here's the height and weight and then the ASVAB score for the Navy so check that out last but not least is the Air Force I'm gonna bring that up on the screen for you again if this is going too fast feel free to pause it at any moment and put it up there I just get this question a lot so I just wanted to make a quick video Put it out there to help whoever is thinking about uh joining the military i know uh, you know what i mean just giving you enough information to make an informed decision so that being said i also flashed up the pt requirements height and weight requirements and asvab scores for the air force so now if you want my personal opinion and again it's good to watch multiple videos talk to different people lots of time most people just join whatever branch of service their family members or friends join and they tell them good things about but in my opinion um the navy is for people who want to see the world if you join in the military to see the world i recommend the navy um quality of living hands down the air force got everybody beat so if you want to go to a place where they're going to really spend the most money as far as personnel related items go air force has it they're going to do more than the marines the army everybody else navy so air force has it as far as personnel goes if you're super motivated super nationalistic patriotic uh you know really in the culture fitness uh courtesies all of that good stuff Marine Corps for you, you know what I mean, it's very, you know what I mean, doing more with less, uh, the few, the proud, you know, all of that, you know, super motivated stuff, Marines will be for you, and honestly, man, the Army, man, and 
this is coming from my experience knowing a lot of people who were in every branch of service i was in the marines so i got a ton of friends that still active marines from everywhere to paris island uh, as drill instructors to japan running warehouses to pretty much you name it i know somebody there um as of right now but guys i went to high school with and like my day one best friends some are now army officers uh you know sailors and navy officers and you know what i mean i got a couple buddies in the air force not that many I know a ton of people in the marines army navy few people in the air force we all get together we all talk very frequently so all of that talking just to say this hands down the army allows people to make the most money and i don't really even know how to describe why to be honest with you but it's just like they have more opportunities to go to schools and go to different areas whether it be training or deployments or whatever but i mean the navy gets c pay but man just from you know speaking with guys and knowing my experience in the service people in the army make the most money man so if you join in just for the money you probably gonna be in and out four eight years you ain't really thinking about doing 20 you just you know what i mean whatever your situation is that's my quick that's just my personal opinion though join the army for the money the marines if you super patriotic and nationalistic navy if you want to travel and see the world air force for the best standard of living but you can do 20 years in all of them it's people that do 20 years and you know what i mean you name the branch of service people have done it so you know and that's just my personal opinion from just me and my friends so just wanted to put that out there also one more thing i want to tell you uh coast guard coast guard is a part of homeland security not the department of defense but the reason that i bring them up even though they're not a branch of the military is if you want to serve but you want to be as close to 100 percent possible that you never will deploy never have to go anywhere then i recommend the coast guard for you just wanted to end it on that note so to my hustlers stay hustling and it's JT Hustles. I'm out. Two in the boot, these bows in all these leather gloves. Ski mask on with a tiny top and the ammunition. The start of war. 